everyone. How's it going? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys had a good week. Um, the first month of school is done. Can you believe it? It's already been a month since we went back and we've gotten back into routine. How's it going? Have you guys been able to adjust okay? Are you guys studying well at home? Let me know. I want to be able to help in any way I can. So I would love to hear how it's going. Even just if it's all good stuff. I, I love to hear the good stuff. <laughs> so we are week four now of uncert of certain <laughs> and um, I have a quick question for you do you have something that makes you feel better when you're feeling sad do you know what the word comfort means comfort is something that makes you feel better when you're sad or in pain an example of something that can bring you comfort could be a hug from mom. Um, it could be a kiss on a sore finger. Or it could be your favorite stuffed animal. For me, it's a nice, thick, warm, fuzzy pair of socks and some chocolate. Those things I find for myself, if I'm in a grumpy mood, I just pull my socks up. Seriously, I just pull my socks right up and I eat chocolate, and usually that makes me feel better. Today, we are going to learn about the name of God for comfort, which is El Nakuma. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture. Can you tell me who these two are? If you guess Timon and Pumbaa, you are right. Now, can you think of a very well-known phrase that these two say? They, are, they actually sing a song about it, too. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. So, Hakuna Matata, El Nakuma, they almost kind of, they sound kind of similar. But think of it too, their meanings are similar too. The God of comfort and no worries. Comfort helps ease negative feelings. Letting go of your worries lets go of negative feelings. Ooh. So think of that, think of that for a second. We're gonna actually read a little bit in the Bible today and we're gonna turn all the way to 2 Corinthians we're going to go to the first, the first chapter of 2 Corinthians, and we're only going to look at two verses. Uh, we're going to look at verses 3 and 4, and it says this, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort others. When we are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. Isn't that cool? Because Jesus can comfort us through anything, he allows us and gives us the strength and the compassion and the empathy to be able to give comfort to other people too. So just like mom giving you a kiss on a sore finger, she's bringing comfort to you. If you have a friend that hurts their knee and they fall, you can go and help them up and you can go and help them get to a teacher if you're at school or, or things like that. You can help bring comfort to people. But Jesus is the best comforter ever. So a little bit of background about where this verse comes from. In Corinthians, the person who wrote this book was Paul. And boy oh boy, is Paul the person to be talking about comfort? Because let me tell you a little bit about Paul. Paul has known everything but uncomfortable, okay? This man has been to jail many times because he was trying to do good things and the people didn't like it. He's been shipwrecked. He has been beaten and abused by a lot of people. He's been so hurt. He's been homeless. And that's not 
anywhere near all of it. He has been through so much of very uncomfortable situations, but yet he can still praise Jesus for comforting him through it all. And in every single hard and painful time that he's been through, I know I don't think I'll ever experience as much hardship as he has, but yet he can still sit here and write and believe that Jesus is going to help him through it. Wow, that just blows my mind. I know for myself, sometimes when I feel really bad and I get really sad and I get really grumpy, sometimes it seems like nothing is going to make me feel better. Well, this is me thinking that maybe it's not the fuzzy socks and chocolate I need to make me feel better, but maybe instead I need to remember that Jesus is going to comfort me far more than chocolate is. This may be a good reminder for us today, knowing that El Nakuma takes care of us. We've read before that Jesus is the great shepherd and he takes care of our every need. Remember that verse? Same goes with this. He takes care of everything. Hakuna Matata. No worries because Jesus has got this. Isn't that cool? So, when you think of Hakuna Matata, think of El Nakuma. Oh man, that's a big tongue twister. El Nakuma. <laughs> I hope you guys find comfort in knowing that Jesus is the best comforter and that we can always go to him even when our chocolate and fuzzy socks don't work. <laughs> That's our lesson today and I hope that you guys have an amazing week coming up and next weekend is Thanksgiving. We're still going to keep going with this series but I want you to think of maybe what we could be talking about. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm going to pray with you guys real quick, and then that'll be it for this week. And then we're going to actually hear from Pastor Renee today about what she has to say about El Nahuma. Okay, so let's close our eyes, and we'll get ready for her lesson coming up. Okay, here we go. Dear God, I thank you so much for being the best and biggest comfort ever. I thank you that you give us the power to comfort others as well and that we can help and encourage and um, make others feel better. I thank you for giving us the ability to love other people the way you love us. And I thank you that we are able to still be able to learn so much about you and that we can still get together like this and um, I just pray that you keep all of our friends safe this week as they go to school or as they go to appointments and as they go out shopping or whatever it may be. I just pray that you keep them safe and healthy and I pray that um, you guide us and you be with us in everything that we do. And we pray this together in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining and I can't wait to see you again next week.